Hello, viewers in the lobby. How are you today? Oh, this evening. My name is Sakina. I'm from Kalingo. Today I'm going to teach you sports and hobbies. And the article name is called Skiing, a Popular Winter Sport. So we're going to find out why is skiing so popular? Hmm. And also our pronunciation is suffixes and stress. So we'll be focusing on that, okay? And we have Douglas. Hello, Douglas. How are you? Hi, Sakina. Nice to meet you, Douglas. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from Brazil. How about oh, you? Oh, another Brazilian. Oh, yeah. great. How about you? So are you new with Kalingo? No, no. I've been here for, I think, one month. That your no uh, your schedule doesn't ma doesn't match with mine, so <laughs> that's the reason why we don't see we don't see each yeah other yet. I'm qu I'm quite early in the morning, so yes, yes. and it's I think it's early in the morning for you guys in Brazil here, when no, I'm teaching here, in the morning. Here at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Yeah, I think in the morning when I generally teach, you guys are yes, yes. sleeping. Yes, yes, for sure. So yeah, well great, welcome and nice to meet you. And we have also another person, Ricardo. Hello Ricardo, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, how about you? I'm good Ricardo, where are you coming from? I'm from Brazil. Another Brazilian, oh wow, two Brazilians in the house, excellent. Well, are you also with Kalink for a long time, Ricardo? Are you new? Uh, actually, it's my second time here. Second time. How are you finding the whole Kalingo? How are you finding it? Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. It, it's good. Excellent. Excellent, great. And we also have another person as well. Sama. Hello, yes, Sama. Hello. 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 How are you? Yes, hello. Hello, Fine, thank yes. You. <laughs> Where are you coming you, from, Sama? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Oh, great. Yes, yes. I think we're having a delay. I think that's the problem. You can only hear like a minute later. That's probably why. So, um, are you with Kalingo Long, Sama? Uh, this is the uh, today is my first day. First day! Wow! Welcome to the family. Welcome on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My name is Sakina. If you don't Thank know you. me. I'm one of the teachers here. I don't usually do this time. This is not my time, but I usually do early in the morning. So um, this is my first time doing this time again. So nice to meet you all. Um, so I think it's time to introduce each other. So let's see, Sama, you want to maybe introduce yourself to Ricardo and Douglas? Um, what do you like to do in your spare time? Why do you decide to come and join Kalingo? Uh, okay. Um, I, I decided to enjoy Kalingo because I want to practice English with native speakers because I want to talk like native speakers and um, uh, I like watching movies, reading some books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Uh, mm, yeah. That's it. I like traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we all love traveling. I agree with you there, Sama. Yeah, yeah, traveling is another great thing to do, definitely. Well, welcome on board again. And Ricardo, you want to introduce you. yourself to Sama and Douglas? Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ricardo. Um, I I'm here because I I need to get some confidence um, talking. And as I said before, it's my second time here, and I I'm joining enough. And I like to travel too, and to play guitar, 
and reading. I, I, I think it's pleasant. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you read any English books, Ricardo? Or Yeah, yeah. currently I, I'm reading uh, Inferno uh, by Don Brown. Oh, right, okay. How's that going? Is it a good book? I've heard of that one, actually. Yeah, yeah. How's I'm, it going? I think it's going well. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Excellent. I wish I had more time to read, Ricardo. I have just no time. Literally no time. I wish I had, but I don't. But it's so peaceful to read whenever you get the chance to. And Douglas, your turn. Hi, everyone. I'm Douglas. I'm from Brazil. We're 27 years old. And also, as uh, my partner has said, I also like to read, read bookies, uh, watch some movies, and uh, Sometimes uh, I do some sports, but not also often. Mm -hmm. And that's it. I think for 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 learn more the English, you know, to get the, the the native accent. I'm trying to. It's been a lot difficult, but I'm trying. And that's it. That's it. Excellent. Well, keep joining Kalingo Douglas, and you will see a difference. And it's also good to um practice English outside of Kalingo as well, you know, try and speak to a native speaker as much as you can, which is really helpful. But yeah, I wish you guys all the best and nice to meet you again. So let's get started with the class. Um, so we're going to talk about sports and hobbies and the article name is Skiing, a popular winter sport. So um, we're going to read and we're going to discuss. And just to let you know, this is an intermediate class. Um, so if you guys feel, ooh, intermediate, it's a bit difficult. As there are some words in the article that are a bit difficult to understand. Um, it, it's okay by me. You can leave the class. If you want to try it, you're more than welcome. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to do pronunciation today, no grammar, and the pronunciation is suffixes and stress. So we're going to focus on that. Um, so before we get started, guys, I want to do a little warm-up before we get started, and I want you to tell me if you can think of a meaning. So I'm going to give you a definition, and I want you to give me the meaning, okay? So let's start with this one. If anyone can guess what it is. So it's something that it's very important to do. Another word for important. Can anyone think of another word of important? Something that is, we need to do it basically. You can take a guess guys, don't be shy, take a guess. Something that is, we need to do it. It's another word for important. Any clues, guys? Sama, what about you? You want to take a guess uh, what word it is? Risk. Um, I don't know, but something come in my mind, responsibilities. Yes, yes, you have the right line there. Uh huh. It is a responsibility. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Significant. significant. Significant, yes. Doug, yes, Douglas, you're nearly there, getting warmer. Mm -hmm. uh, what about you, Ricardo? What do you think? You want to take a guess? Um, uh, I think the main point of something, I don't know. Yes, it is the main point of something. Okay, you guys give up, should I tell you? Relevant. Yes. Sorry, what was that? Relevant. Relevant, hmm. Mm, not so much, not so much. Something that it's quite important to do. Um. Okay, I'll give you the word, guys. And I want you guys to pronounce it for me, okay? This word here. That is the word. Okay, so let's... Douglas, can you pronounce this word for me? Necessary. 
Very good. Necessary. So it's needed to be done. It's important. So it's necessary. Very good. Douglas, okay. Sama, can you repeat it as well? Necessary. Okay. And Ricardo? Necessary. Good. And we have Gabriel in the house as well. Hello, Gabriel. Oh, Sama, you'll have to mute your microphone. Yeah, thanks. Gabriel, how are you? Hello. Hello. Oh, how I'm are fine. you? Thanks for asking. Excellent. Where are you coming from, Gabriel? I'm fine. I'm from Brazil. What country are you coming from? Brazil. Excellent. Well, Gabriel, we've just we're just going through the pronunciation now, so you've came at the right time. So what I'll do now, guys, I it was just a little warm up. I just wanted you guys to maybe kind of guess what the word is that was the word necessary it's all about the pronunciation so I will screen share the document for you guys to see okay just bear with me um, Gabriel do you want to say hi to everybody and the hangouts you want to introduce yourself and um, what do you like to do in your spare time hey, and why do you want to learn English okay I think um, maybe this class could be very difficult for you. It is intermediate, an intermediate lesson. Um, and the article is quite lengthy. And I would expect you guys to read it. Okay. Um, Douglas, are you prepared to take this lesson? Yes? Yes. Go ahead. Okay, good. Yeah, you've been here for a month now, haven't you? Okay. Gabriel, have you taken intermediate class before? Gabriel. Okay, we'll come back to Gabriel. Ricardo, what Hi. about you? Have you? Yes, Gabriel, have you taken intermediate class before? Have you taken the class before? I'll type it in. Because I feel maybe... Some of you might struggle in this one. I'm not sure because because we're quite strict now with um, the levels. But I'll type it in. I think it's internet connection. Um, Ricardo, have you taken intermediate before? Yes. Uh, okay. I haven't taken it here, but um, I think I am I am at intermediate level with okay. my private class. Okay. Okay. Good, good, okay. Sama, what about you? Have you taken, because this is your first lesson, Sama. Uh, not my first lesson, but my first day. I tried oh, two lessons before. Right. And yeah. what was the level? Was it intermediate level? Well, uh, yes, one of, them were, were, one of them was intermediate, yeah. Okay, okay, then that's okay. I just wanted to check. And we have Mohammed. Okay. Hello, Mohammed from Jeddah. Hello, how are you? I am fine. I am finally on this lesson to teach you, Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> finally, right? <laughs> yeah, finally. Excellent. It's, it's good change, you know. Actually, it it's good change. Because <laughs> I see you all, always in the morning here in Jeddah, or we we'll see you at 3 o'clock in know. the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I've decided to take an extra few hours for a change. And, you know, yeah. in the morning while sleeping, in the morning uh -huh. while I'm sleeping, and in the afternoon I'm at the play uh -huh. time, you know, because it's yeah. uh, play time. It's difficult, you can't do my lessons, I know, I know what you mean. No, but no, I can, can attend, you know, I can attend uh, up to 40 minutes, then after that I have to be. You have to leave. Yeah. Well, now you can have a lovely 55 minutes with me. So yes, okay. So now, guys, we'll have to get we'll have to get going, Muhammad. Okay. Um. So what we'll do now? I will screen share the document for you to see. Okay. Um. 
and then we'll go ahead and do this. Okay, so suffixes. Ha ha. Can anyone maybe try and guess what a suffix is? What is the duty of a suffix? Where do we put them? Anyone uh, want to take a guess? Like yeah, then that uh, the one, uh, the three letters we have to add at the end of the word, like uh, yes. I Z E and uh, A R. Uh, uh huh. Yes. We we have uh, many uh, some many words, types. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Some words we have to add it at the end of it. Good, good, Muhammad. Yes, that's correct. So you have different types of suffixes, you know, but the ones we're going to focus on today are the ones with I Z E, A R Y, and A T E. Okay? So the rule is now it's very important to follow this rule, guys. When we have these three suffixes at the end of a word, we shift two syllables to the left. Okay? We shift two syllables to the left. So let's go through some of them together. Okay? And I will give you an example. Okay, let's try the first one. Criticize. So as you can see, we have the I Z E. And that's applying to the rule here. And when we have the I, Z, E, we shift two syllables, which is one, two, to the left. So the stress pattern is so underneath. C, R, yes. Yes, correct, C -R. Muhammad. C, R, I, T. Criticize, because it has three syllables. Mm. So we're going to break this word into three parts. And as we have the I, Z, E is part of the suffix, we are shifting one, two syllables to the left, which is criticize, criticize. So the stress is crit, okay? Okay, let's try another one. Let's try this one. Can anyone maybe try and have a go with this one? Delicate, which is yes. we have to move it to serve it the lift. Yes. And uh, it will be on the D E delicate. Very delicate. good. Delicate. Very good. Excellent, Muhammad. Uh, yes. The stress it should be on D E. Yes. Very good, Muhammad. Yep. Perfect. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try maybe we can ask someone else. Um what about you, Ricardo? You wanna try this one? Okay, necessary. Necessary, yes. Remember we done that one. So where do you think the stress pattern is in this word? Mm. So remember the rule here? This one? A R Y. When we have the suffix A R Y, we're shifting two syllables to the left. I'll make it a bit bigger. Yeah. What do you guys think? Any other guesses where it might be? Uh, it might be on the mm, okay. Necessary. Uh, it's it's four syllables actually. Yeah. So necessary. So what you have yes. to do? Yes. Yes, it Muhammad. That's be, correct. I mm -hmm. think on C E. Yes. Yes, so it's it's N E C N E C because remember you're breaking up the words, the letters. So when it has four syllables, we're breaking it up into four parts, and then we're counting the syllables to the left. Okay, two syllables to the left. Let's try maybe an easier one. Um, okay, let's try this one. Generate. Generate. So how, how many syllables do we have on generate? Three. Do three. Should three be. syllables, yes. So where do we focus on the stress pattern? GE. GE, very good. Yes, GE. Yep, correct. Okay. Douglas, you want to try the next one? Okay. Okay, Douglas, try this one. Uh, eradicate, eradicate. 
So counting with your fingers, e ra d k. How many syllables do we have? We have five. Uh, five. So e ra d k. We have five, four, six, four syllables. Four. Four, four. four. Yes. So you know what you can do. What I usually do, guys, if you're having difficulties counting the syllables, use your fingers, or you can also tap your hand. So you have e ra d kate. So we have four syllables. Okay. Yes, yes. No, it's because in Portuguese, <laughs> it's for sure will have five. So it's the, there's a difference that we have said before about oh, eight yeah. at the end. Okay, sorry. Ah, oh, right. Mis okay. Mistake. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. No problem. Yeah, I'm sure it's a bit different from English, definitely. I'm sure it is. Um, so what you do, um, you basically count the syllables over, and then you're going to break them into parts, five parts. And then, because we have the suffix of A-T-E, okay. can you maybe guess, Douglas, where the stress is? Take a guess. It's it would be... In the era. Yes, good, good, excellent. Very good, Douglas. Erad, yes. So the focus is on rad. Okay, mm -hmm. rad. Okay, so we're going to have a look at them broken into five parts after this, okay? Um, let's try. Okay, Sama, do you want to try this next one? Yes. You want to try this one? Yes, which one? Okay. okay, so first of all, I, I want you to count on your fingers how many <laughs> syllables this word has. Okay? This word here. Five syllables? Vocabulary. So, very good. Yes? Five syllables, yeah. Excellent, excellent, Sama. So, now you see the suffix. Where is the suffix? What letter? Uh, a R A R Y. Very good. Okay. So can you maybe determine where is the stress pattern in vocabulary? <coughs> cap. In cap. Yes. Good. Cap. Yes. Uh huh. Vocabulary. Yeah. Vocabulary. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um. Okay, guys. So let's move on. And you can see the examples here. So now these are the words that we were going through before, and now they're broken. They're broken into parts. So as you can see, necessary. It's broken into parts. Okay, necessary, four syllables. And as you can see, the bolded part is where we're stressing this word, ness. Okay. What about this one, delic? Delicate. E so, Muhammad, you got that one, e yeah. E e L. E yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we were looking at vocab. Um, uh, Sama, you got that one. Vocab. Very good. <coughs> generate. generate. And generate. Yes. yes. And also, Douglas, you got this one. Erad. Very good. Okay. So, these are just the common examples of using them. Um, and as you can see, the ones that are bolded, they are the stress pattern. Okay. Do you guys have any questions so far? I know it's a lot to take in, as this is an intermediate class. So, have you guys taken suffixes before? Yeah, we take. Yes. Have you taken yeah. a Muhammad? Okay. I took okay. it with Adin, you know. <laughs> or oh, you did. I take it with Adin, yes. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, Douglas, have you taken this one before too? No, 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 actually, it's my first time I have seen Oh, something. good, okay, okay. So we'll, we'll take it slowly, Douglas. And Ricardo, what about you? Is this your first time as well with suffixes? No, oh, I have heard about it before. Okay, good, good. Okay, so... Um, Douglas, do you have any questions you want to ask me? I don't want you to get lost. I want you to understand. Don't be shy to ask me any questions. Because no, I know no, it's your no, first no. time. <laughs> You're doing pretty well. <laughs> Please go ahead. Good. I don't want you to get lost. Okay. 
Excellent. Okay, so let's move on. Now what I want you to do, guys, I want you to think of a sentence with using any one of these words here. Okay? So I will give you a minute to think of a sentence with using any one of these words. Okay? And then it's all about focusing on the stress when you're pronouncing the sentence as well. Okay? Do we have any questions so far? No? Okay. Just let me know, guys, when you're ready. Mm, someone's finished? Muhammad? Uh, okay. Uh, generate. Mm. Oh, generate. Generate. Or, yes. or let's say that uh, the word down there, it's uh, complementary. Complementary, yes. yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Usually at the hotels, they give us uh, complementary fruit mm -hmm. basket. Very good. Very good, Muhammad. Excellent. Okay. Anyone else got a sentence? Analyze. Oh, analyze. Very good word. Okay. Okay. What the sentence? sentence? Is, um, I need to analyze all the aspects before to take decisions. Very good. Excellent, Ricardo. That's a very good sentence. Okay. Okay. Um. What about Douglas? Sama. Cooperate. I will cooperate with my friends to finish the job. Very good, Sama. Excellent. Another good one. Okay, we're on a roll with the sentences. Okay, Douglas. Uh, popularize. Mm, good word. Yes, I like it. Uh, I will popularize Colingo by talking about it to my friends. Oh, good. Very good, Douglas. Okay, I like that one. And you've added Colingo in there, of course. Okay. So now, guys, um, because this is an intermediate class, we are only going to be talking about this for five minutes. Um. So we will have to move on to the <clears throat> article now. Oh, no, actually, no. This one's intermediate. No, it's okay. We will dwell on 20 minutes for this one. I always get confused because there's upper intermediate as well. And the upper intermediate, you focus only five minutes and advance. No, that's okay. Okay, so let's do a few more examples, guys. Now, minimize. I want you guys... I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that one. Minimize. Okay, I'll take one. Minimize. Okay. You know, and uh, most of the hotels uh, mm -hmm. nearby the the airport, they put mm -hmm. material on the wall. So that uh, material it minimizes the noise of the the airplane. Mm -hmm. It minimizes the noise of the airplane. Minimizes, yeah. Because remember, you're talking about it at that moment in time, so you're using the present simple there. Minimizes. Okay. Okay, good, Muhammad. A good sentence. Um, so I want you now to go through them. I want you to pronounce them for me. So the first um, one, two, three. The first six, Douglas. Can you pronounce them for us, please? Okay. Uh, customize. Uh, conservatory. Standards. Standards. Standard, standardize, yes, good, okay. Complementary. Very good, yeah. Minimize. Evolutionary. Very good, that was a difficult one. Very good, Douglas, I must say, okay. And where do we see the suffixes? So let's have a look at um, customize. 
Where is the suffix? Guess. Mm. So you know yeah, how so we have the, the the actually suffix. distress. Yes, yes, distress and because I I Z. Uh huh. I Z E. Yes, good. And the stress pattern is on Cus. the. Cus. Cus. Very good. Okay. Let's have a look at minimize. Uh, Where is the stress pattern? Me. Mm -hmm. Min, yes, good. Uh huh. And then we have the suffix Cuff. of? I Z. I Z. I Z E. So remember, Doug, because this is your first time, a suffix is always something that you're going to add at the end of a word. At the end of the word. And these are three of them that we're going to focus on today. Okay? Okay, very good, Douglas. Um, let's see, Ricardo, can you go through the next six? Okay. Uh, maximize, legendary, popularize, and investigate. Very good, excellent. And let's have a look at investigate. Can you spot the suffix and the stress? Okay, this, right the suffix is on the ATE, mm -hmm. and the stress pattern is uh, invest, vest. Vest, very good. Excellent, Ricardo. Okay, one more. Let's try this one. Suffix, where do you see the suffix? Uh, R A R Y, mm -hmm. and the stress pattern is. Um, e L E G Lem Le Le Le. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Very good, Ricardo. Okay. Um Mohammed, your turn. So you want to do the next six for us, please? Who will we start? Oh, popular. Actually, uh, no, itemize. Itemize. Okay, I've okay. highlighted them for Itemize. Okay. Itemize, uh, collaborate, and uh, uh, capti capitalize, demonstrate, canonize, eliminate. Very good, Mohammed. Very good. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at this one. This word here. Where do you see the suffix, and where is the stress? Uh, a A T. The suffix at the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, the stress on them. D -A -M. Very good. Mm -hmm. And what about um, capitalize? Capitalize. Uh huh. Uh, the suffix on the I, I Z E, mm -hmm. and uh, the stress on the cap. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Very good, Mohammed. Okay. Last but not least, Sama, your turn. Uh, so you can start from library. Library. Yeah, until translate. Mortuary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Want to keep going? I can this one. Uh, uh, acetate, very acetate good. or acetate, I don't know acetate, this word. Acetate, very good, acetate, uh, very good. Infirmary, infirmary, mm -hmm. acetate, yeah, mm -hmm. infirmary, considerate. Considerate. Uh, laboratory, translate. Mm -hmm. Very good. So this one here, considerate. Considerate, considerate. considerate. Yeah. yes. Very good, Sama. Excellent. So let's yeah. have a look at um, this word here. Where do we see the suffix and where do we see the stress? And translate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or consider it? Translate. translate. Which word do you mean? Translate. So where okay, do we see the suffix? The suffix is uh, A-T-E. Mm -hmm. A -T -E. mm -hmm. This is the suffix. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the the stress is in the tran tran translate. Very good, very good. 
Excellent, excellent, Sama. Okay. Um, okay, guys, so I want you now to think by yourself words that have the I, Z, E. So this is just further practice on the suffixes itself, okay? And then once we finish this, we can move on to our article and read. So if you can think of any words that have the ending of I, Z, E, A, R, Y, A, T, E. Uh, I'm ready for the first one. Okay, I, Muhammad. I, Z, e. Very good. Okay. Motorize. What do you have? Oh, motorize. Okay. Very good. Uh huh. Motorize. Mm -hmm. uh, elementary. I very. have. Uh, very good. Go on. Um, Ricardo, that's good. Yes. Okay. okay, go on, Sama. Unless you do, you have more. Specialize. Specialize. Very good. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, documentary. Very documentary. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ricardo, did you have any more to give? Sorry. You know, I'm having a delay, so I only hear you guys a minute after. I'm sorry about that. Um, okay. Um, elementary, virtualize, uh, eliminate. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah, good enough. Yeah. Roommate. Roommate for the. Last yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very good, guys. Very good with the vocab, I must say. And I have two. Oh, another two. Oh, we're on a roll. Very good, yeah. Sama. <laughs> Personalize and mm -hmm. appreciate. Oh, good. Appreciate. Very good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Douglas, what about you? Can you think of one before we move on? Uh, paralyze. Paralyze. That's a good one, isn't it? Paralyze. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Revolutionary. Oh, that's another good one. Revolutionary. And imitate. Imitate. Very good. Excellent, guys. I must say, good with the vocab. Good with the vocab. Um, so now we can move on, guys, to the article. The article is quite lengthy. It is quite long. Just to let you know, notify you, um, and I will. If you guys want to read, you're more than welcome. Um, so what I will do, I will um, send you guys the link in the green Kalingo chat, and you can open it from there. And I will also screen share it for the viewers in the lobby. Okay. Um, so let me know, guys, when you've opened it. Okay. Look at this. Gonna see me again now. Okay. Can you guys see this okay? Should I make it a bit bigger? Yeah. That's good. All good? Douglas, good? 100%? Fine, fine. Okay, Muhammad, 100%? Yes, 100%. Ricardo, 100%? Can you see everything okay? Okay, okay. I'm good. Okay. Good, okay. And Sama, 100%? Sama. I think Sama's okay, is she? Am I guessing? She's in mute. Yeah. <laughs> she's probably maybe got somebody there because I hear mm -hmm. children or something. Maybe she's yeah, busy. It's okay. We'll start, guys, and she can join us. Maybe she's busy, yeah. So, um, let's see. Muhammad, would you like to start reading? So, we're going to talk about skiing, a popular winter okay. sport. Okay? Okay. Okay, skiing, a popular winter sport. Skiing is one of the most popular sports in the world. It's a way of moving over snow and an activity that millions of people of all ages enjoy. Very good, okay. And then the types of skiing, you want to read about the types of skiing? Types of, of the skiing. 
Okay, it says uh, there are three types of skiing. Uh, Alpine skiing, uh, Nordic skiing, and uh, freestyle free skiing. The Alpine skiing, Alpine skiing is uh, skiing down a hill. And the world, the, the world comes from the Alps, the highest mountain in Europe where downhill skiing started. Beginners slide down gentle slopes and keep the front tips of their skis together. This is called a snow uh, bluff. When you get better, uh, when you get better, uh, you ski better and keep your ankles together. Okay, very good, Muhammad. Just this word here, plow, plow. plow. Okay, snow plow. plow. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, Muhammad, uh, did you want to just finish uh, sorry, the next? Uh, Skina, uh, yes. With that uh, G H, uh, they they say it if. Snow plow, the same, G -H. The same, the, no, the same, the same word. We you just correct me on. It's uh, uh -huh. that uh, the B H when it comes, it's, it's uh, you pronounce that like if. The B H letter B H F. Yeah, like snow, mm -hmm. uh, sh should be pluff or la uh, No, snow plow. Yeah, it's silent. You say oh. pluff. Yeah. It's silent. This one is silent. This, you know, there are certain words in English that, okay, because of the letters, you think they are pronounced that way, but some of the letters um, you have to be careful of. So this mm -hmm. letter in particular, it's yeah. it's different. So you're silenting uh, the GH. So it's plow, plow, snow oh, plow. Okay. Okay. okay, plow, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, just for that one. But there are many ones as well, other words out there that you have to just be careful of. You just have to know them by heart, um, okay. Muhammad. Okay. You want to continue um, just this one here, and then yes. I'll ask someone else to... Oh, let me see. Hang on, Muhammad, okay. two seconds. Okay. Oh, God, it is quite a long article, so you can read until um, this end here, okay? So you were here for many years. Okay. So for many okay. years. Okay, for, for many years. Okay, for, for many years, skis uh, were made out of wood. Today, uh, modern carvers are made of a combination of different materials. They have met, uh, metal edges and are bordered at the ends so that you can you can turn more easily. Generally, uh, bitter scares uh, scares uh, use longer skis because they keep steady at higher speeds. Speeds. Uh, safety buildings help prevent leg injuries. They separate you from the skis when you fall down. Don't you want to keep breathing, Muhammad? Okay, the first boots were made out of the leather. Today, they have two parts. The outer shell is hard and gives uh, scares. Uh, if you uh, don't move it because I have to follow you. Know? <laughs> Where, okay. Sorry, Mohammed. I was it. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you know my eyes going up and down. <laughs> and you know it takes two minutes for you to say that as well. I'm That's sorry. right. Yeah, where where are we now? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay I have and gives uh, uh, scares more protection. The inner boot is made up of a foam or other materials and keeps your feet warm. Uh, two ski balls uh, are used to help you keep your balance. Okay, very good, Muhammad. Oh. Just one word here, bindings, bindings, okay? 
Can you repeat that after me? Bindings. Okay. Bindings. Perfect. Bindings. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. When you read it fast okay. sometimes, if you didn't slow down, you will uh, pronounce that wrong. You know? I you know it's normal. <laughs> it's normal, Muhammad. Don't worry. You're doing very well. You're doing very well. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Um, who would like to continue reading? Don't be shy, guys. Okay. Okay, Douglas. Do you know where to start? Because it is such a long article. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Douglas, you want to continue then from alpine skiing? Okay. Okay. Alpine skiing is a very popular form of recreation in many countries. Millions enjoy it in the USA, Canada, many European countries, and Japan. There are thousands of ski areas all over the world. In America, Colorado is the most popular state for skiing with famous resorts like Vail and Aspen. Europe has come of the most luxurious and famous skiing areas including St. Moritz, Switzerland, Val de Solcer, France, Garmisch Parkenkirchen, Germany, in Kitzbühel and the Alberg, Austria, and Sistrier, Italy. Very good. They are very difficult words to pronounce, Douglas. Very well. Excellent. You pronounce them very well. Very good. Okay. Keep reading, Douglas. Um, so you want to read about Nordic skiing? Okay. Okay. Just scroll it up. Uh, yes. Is that okay? Can Nordic. you see it okay? Okay. Nordic skiing. Nordic skiing includes cross country skiing and sky jumping, ski jumping. It is called Nordic because cross country skiing has been a way of getting around in Norway, Sweden, and Finland for a long time. Cross country skiing is the most popular form of Nordic skiing. Skiers glide over flat or hilly or highly. Hilly, hilly, hilly areas, areas yeah. Hilly areas and along forest trails. The skiers move by thrusting their poles into the snow and striding forward. Cross-country skiing is a good exercise and strengthens your overall physical condition. The skis are much lighter and narrower than alpine skis and do not have a metal edge. The poles are also longer than alpine poles because you use more trust to move forward. Ski jumping is a form of asking for athletes. A skier glides down a steep track and flies off a platform, a platform and at the end. Jumpers are judged on the distance of their jump and on their jumping style. Excellent. Very good, Douglas. So, guys, I will have to stop here because um, it's quite a long article. But what, what I've done, I've sent you guys the link. If you want to read it in your own time, you guys are more than welcome. And the vocab words are here as well at the bottom. Okay? Um, but we will have to move on to the discussion questions, okay, because we are running out of time. I'm sorry. Um, so... The first question, I will give it to um, Ricardo. Okay, Ricardo? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so the first question. Okay, so Ricardo, do you think losing a match can cause fans to become traumatized? So basically, you know, frightened after losing a match, upset. Um, losing what? Losing a match. So let's say like a football match, a basketball match, a tennis okay. match. Yeah. Okay, match. So could you repeat the, the question? Yeah. Do you think losing a match can cause fans to become traumatized? So for fans, you know, when they're so obsessed with, for instance, football, and they see their famous football team lose, do you think they would feel upset? 
Yeah, I think it depends on the, the it depends on the fans. But I think the traumatized uh, hard word for this kind of deception. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was trying but, to get that word for the stress. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, but uh, as I said before, is uh, is personal. Yeah. Uh -huh. it depends on yeah. which one. I don't know. It's not from. Mm -hmm. It's not from me. <laughs> Yes, I know some people, they really take it too far. They go crazy. <laughs> and then you get some people are quite mellow. They don't mind if they lose or not. Yeah, I agree with you there. Um, okay, let's see. Um, okay, uh, Sama, your turn. Okay. Do you think, yes. Sama, do you think it's important to criticize sports? Do you think sports should be criticized? Criticized. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you think they should be put down? Maybe, sports? Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe not criticized or uh, maybe criticized for uh, for pushing them up, not for mm -hmm. letting them them down. Mm -hmm. Not to to give them. Uh, to, to give them, uh, what can I say, uh, to motivation. encourage them. Mm -hmm. Motivation. Yes, motivation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, if, if, if the criticism will be a motivation for them, so it will be, mm -hmm. I think, good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I agree with you there. Definitely, Sama. Mm -hmm. If you were to put them down, criticize them all the time, then their egos will just decrease and then they won't be able to perform properly. Yeah, okay. Douglas, your turn. Do you think it's important for trainers to demonstrate scheme to new learners? So do you think people that want to learn to ski, do you think they should be trained first? Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. It is very important to practice before, you know, <laughs> and it's like any other sports, any, any other thing you do, you, if you don't have the preparation for doing it, it will be bad, you know? mm -hmm. You can have some bad consequences, it's very important, so that you can get more confident, you know, also you mm -hmm. can perform much better than without practice. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Great, thank you, Douglas. And Mohammed, your turn. Is it necessary, Mohammed, to learn a new sports skill? Yeah. It's not necessary, but it's good, you know, to know, uh -huh. uh, to, uh, to know about uh, different uh, sports, you know. Um, because uh, sometimes we are concentrating on one, mm -hmm. like a football game. Like. But uh, how about if we try the other, other games, you know. Maybe mm -hmm. it's interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. maybe we'll be professional in that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, we didn't discover ourselves in only only football game, and so <laughs> yeah. maybe we we'll discover ourselves in uh, <laughs> you know like this. It's all game. about the soccer. It's all about the soccer. Yes, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people yeah. just love the soccer. Yeah, uh -huh. I definitely think it's necessary. I think you know you should try and learn a new sport. Uh, you know, not just stick to one type of sport. Definitely. Um, what about, um, let's see, Ricardo and Douglas, what do you guys like to watch as in sports? Are you guys soccer crazy? Uh, I'm not a soccer crazy, but uh, crazy as the, the, the example that we, we were talking about, but I, mm -hmm. I'm a soccer fan and, uh -huh. and basketball and yeah. Um, I know about Douglas, but I, I like MMA uh, too. Okay, yeah, yeah. And are you looking forward for the World Cup coming to Brazil? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be cool. Anxious. Yeah. anxious. <laughs> mm. Why are you anxious, Ricardo? <laughs> a good way anxious or in a, a nervous way anxious? Uh, both. 
<laughs> but, no. uh, for me, it's in, in a good way. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be exciting, definitely. I think it's going to be a good thing for Brazil. Yeah. Um, Douglas, what about you? What do you like to watch? Mm, uh, it's a tradition in Brazil. We are very fun of uh, soccer, you know? Yeah. But I also like um, boxing and you know, UFC. Oh, you like uh, UFC? But, oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> we're getting, we're growing. It, this, this sport is growing in importance in Brazil. Yeah. Because we have also uh, one of the most the best athletes of the world. And uh, that's all. I'm very <laughs> also anxious for the World Cup, but it will have its good sides and its bad sides about uh, the World Cup being held here. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. we are anxious. Let's see what we would have. Guys, to. you need to be confident. You guys will be fine. I think it's going to be a good thing, definitely. I am positive for Brazil, definitely. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. What was that, Douglas? You wanted to say something? Sorry? No, 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 no. No, just enough. I'm just having a delay. You know that. I'm so sorry. You know, I can only hear you like a minute later. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, listen, guys, we will have to wrap it up now, um, but it was great. I'm so sorry we never got to read the rest of the article, but as I said, I've sent you the link so you can have a look at it, and um, uh, you can take a read for yourself, okay? Um, it was great meeting you all. Mahama, good to see you again. Sama, you. great to yeah, great to meet you. Ricardo, great to meet you. Okay. And Thank last you but not too. least, Douglas. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome, guys. You take care now. Bye. 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 Bye.